precious little baby and Victoria is watching me this weekend, right? Yes, just me and you. Yes, it's just us. Hmm. We're gonna see her now. You guys have just met uh, Biscuit. This is my client's dog and he's just the cutest little thing in the world. I'm so happy we get to babysit him this weekend because me and my husband just moved to a new apartment and we actually want to have a dog, but um, we need to practice to make sure that this is the right step for us since we are very responsible people. And so far it's going so well, he's walking around. I mean, it's just awesome to have your best friend, little tiny, creature with you in the house at all times uh, yes so today I want to talk to you about something very interesting uh, I'm going to be discussing with you the pitfalls like minuses and pluses of personal training job uh, and I mean I've been honestly thinking about this video for such a long time because so many people has been asking me like uh, why did I choose this as a career, uh, if I'm going to continue on this path or am I looking to change my career to something else and I've been asking myself this question for a while now too. I had a couple of reasons for this, one of them was that um, Sometimes, you know, you get on a new client and you're very excited to help them on their journey. You're there for them uh, every step of the way. And, you know, it's a big responsibility too, because usually women come to me when they're like heartbroken. They really hate, they can't stand themselves. They can't look in a mirror and have a smile on their face. They're really frustrated and deeply unhappy. Honestly, most of the times that's the case and uh, they come to me and they look up to me and they see a leader, a mentor in me, they are looking for help, right? So obviously I want to deliver on my promise that I will give them the results, I will, I will help them to elevate their mood and the quality of their life and um, Sometimes when you take on a new client and everything's going well, uh, there's ups and downs, right? So you go through phases where you help your client and everything's going so well and they start losing weight and they start gaining muscle and their mood is through the roof and everything's going well. But then all of a sudden they start to go through life changes and they just simply don't prioritize and don't appreciate what you do for them and simply drop out in a, like a halfway. Aw, he's crying, you guys, I'm sorry, he's just crying because he sees some people through the window and he's a very friendly pop, so it's gonna happen. But um, enough about that. Um, yeah, so let's go back to the subject. Uh, I decided to have him in a shot just because he's crying so much and it breaks my heart. And I just want him to be calm and happy and have a good time with me because I want him to come back in this place, right? So, um, <laughs> it's so good, oh my god, it's such a sweet little thing. So, I was telling you about the client, that uh, the fact that clients sometimes drop out halfway and it's really frustrating because honestly, you can see your body change drastically only after one year. You can lose some weight, obviously, and you can uh, get toned up and you can look, um, feel better about yourself and you can notice some changes in your body, positive changes. And uh, it's all good, but after a year, you actually change your body composition. Like, it's possible to change your body composition completely and look like a freaking queen if you commit to it for at least one year. Like, it's really important. And very often I see some people who are, you know, who are seeing great progress and they're losing weight and they're looking great and everything's going so well for for them and after five or six months they drop out and unfortunately like 99% of these people actually tend to gain all the weight that they lost back on and I mean it's more than just frustrating for a trainer to see uh, the students or the clients fail I usually call my clients my students because I try to teach them the proper technique um, I'm just still not used to all the noises in this house, right? I know there is no ghost because it's a very new building. It's where the new people, the first people who live in this apartment. Yes, I know. And uh, there's no ghost in here. I know that. But it was just weird for a second. So I get spooked. Anyways. Yes. So I do try to teach my clients how to perform their best by themselves, on their own. I want them to learn how to be fit, how to feel good, how to look good, how to work out in the gym. I want them to, I want them to walk into the gym 
and kick the door open with their leg and just be so cocky and so confident and beautiful and know what they're doing in the gym because it's one thing when you have a trainer next to you when you walk into the gym you already feel confident because you have a professional uh, you have somebody who like represents you some somebody who will not let you look stupid or whatever right uh, but when you walk into the gym by yourself even after having a trainer you might still have some doubts about your program about your workouts about the way you structure the workouts and stuff so I'll, I always encourage my clients to ask questions to take notes uh, I mean I'm very open to explaining everything I'm any I'm ever oh, man I am very open to sitting down and just like taking my time to talk to them about why we're choosing this specific program for them what is the best way what is the best way of training for fat loss and whatnot so it's really important to um, learn from your trainer not only when you work with them but also to gain some knowledge and structure and then implement that into your life after you uh, trained for some time with a professional so that definitely is one of the biggest minuses to have clients who drop out and just like stop halfway because you know you see the potential in your client and you see that they can actually do better than that that they have uh, just only if they stick to the program only if they continue training but unfortunately what happens is after dropping out after stopping discontinuing sessions with the trainer most of the people have no courage no desire no accountability to go to the gym and work out by themselves so they tend to gain the weight back because they go back to the sedentary lifestyle so, so that's that's a big bummer I guess for any fitness professional and another minus to being a fitness trainer is that it's like plus and minus in the same time plus side is that you structure your own hours okay but the minus is that most of the people train either very early in the morning which I love because I as you guys know like to wake up at 5 a.m. and do my practices and then go to work immediately and then be done by 12 that's great but sometimes you get clients who want to train at 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. and then you have this giant gap of free time which I don't mind it's pretty great but I see how for some people that could be frustrating and just uh, maybe boring I don't know so you need to consider that how are you gonna fill your hours I fill my hours by uh, working on Instagram, creating some content, uh, videos, pictures, and then also creating content for YouTube and uh, studying marketing and trying to get better in marketing because, oh my God, you guys, as another minus to personal training job, yes, okay, you can get all your certifications, you can be very smart and you can have a lot of practice as a trainer. Um, that's all great. But if you don't know how to market yourself, how to like sell your business, okay, so here's marketing and here's sales. These are two other very important skills that you need to know because otherwise you'll be out of business. You won't be able to get any clients. No, uh, you can go work for the um, gym first, but I mean, the difference is insane. Like having your own business and working as independent contractor, independent trainer, whatever, it's so much better than working for some big box gym because they usually pay very little money for their trainers and they take the biggest chunk of money for themselves, which I understand. Of course, they spend a lot of money on marketing and they spend a lot of uh, effort to like get clients, to build the gym itself, right? It's you can, you can understand that. And they pay you less because you didn't put work into building the gym. You're only there to train, right? So I guess that's fair, but it doesn't change the fact that you kind of miss out on the opportunities. If you do it yourself, it's way better. Man, even as I talk about minuses of this job, I still love it, honestly. I love everything. I don't mind the fact that there is like, um, that there's flexible hours and that I have a lot of free time between 12 and 5 p.m. I think it's awesome. I have so much time to spend with my family, with my husband, and to study and to get better in my craft. I think it's amazing. And um, I love studying marketing. I love doing it. I love creating content. So this job definitely works out very well for me. Now, when it comes to frustration with clients who drop out, I feel like every job has its pitfalls and some inevitable frustrating situations and I'll take it if that's what it is. Even if I got to help this person only for five to six months instead of a year, I'm still extremely satisfied and happy that I could have contributed into their health and opened their eyes maybe to some realities that you know, you can live your life without sugar and be happy and maybe even happier than before. And you know, I this is my impact on the world. I want for people to see that like 
fit doesn't have to be taken to the extreme, right? You don't have to do CrossFit every day and go compete in CrossFit games or whatever, or you have to become a necessarily a professional bodybuilder and go on stage and uh, compete with other bodybuilders. Like, it's not about that. It's about making yourself feel good. So that's what you owe to yourself. You need to find the fitness. You need to find the activity, fitness activity that, um, you know, gets you excited in the morning. When you wake up and open your eyes, you're like, man, I love to move my body. I love to how I feel about my body. I love how I look in the mirror. I love myself. I respect myself. And then you kind of like, if you feel that way every morning waking up, then you um, just like translate those emotions onto other people. And that is so important. So even though some people drop out, I will still take it because I think that um, maybe they will maybe they will not stop training maybe they will continue maybe uh, they just need this time off to think and to maybe fall back gain weight to see that their life actually was better when they were training and then and then after seeing the difference they might finally realize that it's necessary it's amazing it feels good to train and they will hopefully go back to training that not necessarily training with me, like as their guru, trainer, or whatever, but uh, maybe they'll continue on, on their own. That's what matters to me. Actually, that's what makes me the most proud when I see my clients getting more and more fit and happier and doing everything on their own and teaching their families. That's, that's the biggest reward for any trainer ever, really. And um, when it comes to those people who just choose not to continue and they just walk around and say things like, uh, you know, it didn't work for me, so then probably it doesn't work ever, and they just stop altogether, I really hope that eventually they will still come to a different decision and everything is gonna look better for them. Yeah, think positive. Yeah, that's me today. I am very positive. But, um, that's funny, because um, honestly, sometimes I go through such a uh, low and then high and then low and then high. And the reason why I didn't make videos uh, last week, any new videos, was because I just felt so low. I felt like I have no creativity in me. Oh man, wait, he's chewing something. Let me see. Um, the disaster is... Uh, behind us, everything is good. He was about to eat my Santa that is standing right next to my Christmas tree, but Santa is saved, everybody's happy, but Biscuit is really sad. So he's gonna cry, you might hear him. All right, so all right, so I go through high and lows, that's what I was telling you, right? And uh, right now I feel very creative and very happy and upbeat, I don't know, I just woke up this morning and I did my morning practices and that's the key because some days I skip because uh, I wanna slip in or whatever, but I'm telling you, these morning practices are the key and I'm going to share them with you in my next video and I want you to try it for at least seven days straight. You don't have to wake up necessarily at 5 a.m. like I do, you can wake up at 7, Seven, eight, whatever the timeline you choose is fine, but um, make sure that you follow step by step uh, things that I'm going to tell you about in the next video. And in my fitness business, I noticed that creativity and sometimes lack of creativity is the big minus because you always need to be positive, you always need to be creative, you always need to have a lot of energy because that's why people come to you, they come to you because they lack energy, they lack perspective or whatever, so you have to give it to them, right? You have to motivate them, you have to be there for them, so... And sometimes you just don't have it inside of you, you just feel down or whatever, you know, for whatever reason, maybe sometimes no reason at all, you just wake up and you're like, well, I don't know, I feel like mm, everything sucks, right? We all have these days. So that's something that every trainer needs to work with because you always need to be able to snap out of that bad mood and put yourself in a positive state of mind. Otherwise, like there's no point uh, for your client to come to the session because, I mean, if you're in a bad negative mood, you probably will be draining energy from the room and from everybody in the room. So you really need to focus on waking up and taking some time to replenish that energy before you even step out of the door and see your client, you know? So that could be a minus for a lot of people. I don't think that everybody has such a high level of energy as I do. But yeah, there are some days where I feel like I just don't look good. You know, like I don't feel confident enough to uh, take pictures or make videos or I have no subject to talk about. Even though when I meet my clients in person, we wouldn't shut up. We always talk so much about such a like, deep 
deep conversations, a very like amazing subject. And uh, I'm like, man, like why don't I just talk on camera the way I speak with my clients and see what comes out instead of like having this stupid man, annoying structured speech about, oh, this is proper nutrition. Oh, eat this many carbs. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me. So I decided to make a little bit different type of video this time. And I'm very excited to hear what you guys have to say. Um, I literally didn't write any bullet points for this video so I'm not sure if I missed anything or if, it, if any of it makes sense to you. So let me know, I'll be very happy to hear your feedback. And if you're a trainer and you're watching this right now and you feel like you have doubts about this job, I mean, really, I mean, it's amazing. It's one of the best things I've ever done in my life. So give it a go, try to focus on uh, positive, yeah. Try to focus on the positive, positive side of this job. And I hope that um, you got a little bit of inspiration from me today. And you guys have a good week because Biscuit is about to eat my plant. I have to save it.